Good afternoon, homesteaders. This is Jay at Harvest Moon Homestead. Uh, it's a cloudy day out. We had some pretty good rain come through last night, which we we really need. Speaking of rain, uh, for those homesteaders of you that are down in Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, I hope to God you guys are all okay, that you're weathering out this big horrible storm they're having down there right now. I mean, it's terrible the stuff I've seen uh, online and on TV about what's happening. So if you're one of the homesteaders down there, I hope you're all safe. Remember, everything else can be replaced. Uh, hopefully you got out if uh, you do live in that area. Um, the last video I did, I touched on how I was going to start a playlist uh, for people who are just starting in homesteading or thinking about wanting to homestead. Um, I've got me a little cheat sheet today here because there's a lot of stuff to touch on. Um, so starting out homesteading, what are your reasons for wanting to homestead? There's a million different reasons. Everybody's got some kind of reason. Is it just because you want to grow a little bit of food in your backyard to help on your grocery bill? Have you realized that most of the food in stores is crap and it's not really food and it's probably the cause for all the illnesses that everybody has? Uh, you're tired of uh, chasing those high-end jobs so you can make those big house payments on that fancy house and cars that you're never home to enjoy, that your life is just consumed with that rat race. Uh, is it the fact that you can't stand what goes on in the cities anymore, how crazy the world has gotten? There's a lot of different reasons that people want a homestead, and those reasons play into what type of homesteading you do. Um, is everybody in your family on board with this? That's a very important thing. Uh, one person just wanting to do it isn't going to be a good thing to do. You got to make sure that everybody involved, whether it's a spouse, the uh, kids you have, friends, relatives, if they all realize that you're going to have to do without on certain things, the amount of work that's going to be involved, the sacrifices, Everybody should know what you're really getting into and everybody be on board. That way you've got a better team and teamwork is what's gonna make this happen. I know uh, Amy and I, uh, we rely on each other so much on everything around here. We couldn't do it by ourselves. Uh, you've gotta have the teamwork. Are you, are you looking to do an urban type homesteading, just having some gardens in your backyard? Are you wanting a rural homestead where you've got some chickens and some animals and more room? Or are you wanting to go totally off-grid? Um, these are things you really need to look at and figure out because that helps your game plan of where you're going to go with that. Before you really jump into it and start, say if you're an urban homesteader and you want to do some gardens and trees, maybe a couple chickens, are you part of a homeowners association? There has been people that have started doing this and found out after the neighbors complained that they can't do that. It's in their little homeowners uh, rules that you can't do it. And if you're in a rural situation, wherever that's going to be that you're going to want a homestead, check with your county. Find out if there are restrictions before you buy, before you rent, before you make that move with your whole family to go someplace. You get there and find out you can't do certain things. So really spend the time and research uh, to find out what you're going to be allowed to do and not allowed to do. And it's sad in the world that you got to check on that stuff, but welcome to today's world. Um, money. <laughs> oh, buddy. How do you want money to play into your homesteading plans? Uh, do you want to keep working? Both of you work, one of you work, none of you work. Uh, if you want to work and make money off your homestead, do you have money set back to be doing homesteading with? Because it takes money. Uh, you can get by on a lot less than you think, but it still takes money. You still got to have income coming in. And how much will you need? That depends on how far you want to go with it. I mean, you want to go completely off grid, you got to start buying solar systems and high-end wood cook stoves and stuff, you're looking at spending a lot of money right off the bat. Uh, if you're doing a modern type homestead, your uh, outlay of cash at first isn't going to be quite as bad as it would if you were totally off-grid. 
but you need to look at what you're going to need right off the bat to get going and see how you're going to end up taking care of that. Um, skills. What skills will you need? And what skills do you have now? Sadly, again, in our time in society now, uh, a lot of skills have been lost. They were never passed down. Um, and fortunately, a lot of people are getting back into homesteading and learning these skills and hopefully pass them on. I know we have passed them on to our kids. We pass them on to friends whenever we can. We attempt to pass them on to everybody who probably doesn't want to hear about the stuff. Um, you'll need to be a plumber, a carpenter, an electrician, a baker, a cook, a canner, a veterinarian, you name it, you're going to end up needing to be it. So if you don't have those skills or all of those skills, even before you start, you can start learning that stuff. There are so many resources out there that you can tap into to learn how to do any of those things. Anything is learnable. I don't care what it is. It's all learnable. So start learning now, always keep learning. And it just, I've been doing this for quite a while now and I still learn stuff. It's, it, when you quit learning, then you've given up in life. You gotta keep learning stuff. Where to homestead? Where do you want to homestead at? I mean, are you in a county, a city, a town, a state? part of the country that you want to homestead, do you want to go somewhere else? Is it some place you're going to want to really settle down and build this homestead and spend the rest of your life there? Or is it a temporary thing to get you to another point? So if it's a temporary thing, how much do you really want to invest in that temporary homestead? So really discuss that out about where you want to uh, homestead at. Um, and, and check it out because you don't want to invest all that time and money and find out that's not where it uh, should be. Uh, what kind of place will you need and, and why? I mean, again, that goes back to whether you just want to do some raised bed gardens and a couple of chickens in your backyard, uh, whether you want enough acreage to support uh, having a little bit of livestock. You know, are you going to have enough pasture? Are you going to have enough area to fence off for animals and goats and stuff? Uh, you need some woods. So check into that stuff. The best time to look for a piece of property, if that's what you're going to be doing, is in the winter time. Go to a property when it's going to look its worst. I mean, anybody can go to a place during the spring and summer and go, oh, this is nice. It's all nice and green and pretty and the flowers are growing and the food's growing and stuff. Come back here in the winter time when there's two feet of snow. They don't plow your roads. The roads are difficult to get to. You find out you better have four-wheel drive and you can't get anywhere. Uh, so these are things to take into consideration. If you can, go look during the dead of winter. See what the place looks like. See how the roads are going to be back in there. Uh, how remote you're going to be. How difficult that's going to be. Uh, important things to have before starting. Tools. You're going to rely on so many different types of tools, especially if you're wanting to be more self-sustaining that you're wanting to build things, to save money, to fix things yourself, to make things yourself. Um, the list goes on and on. Knowledge to use all these tools. Medical supplies. I mean, do you're going to be in a really rural situation where the ambulance is 20, 30 minutes away. Somebody gets injured on the homestead. Do you have the equipment to take care of that injury? Do you have the knowledge to use that stuff to take care of that? Or somebody has a very serious medical issue. Ambulance isn't going to be there for 20, 30 minutes. Uh, these are things that you need to consider when you're doing it. Get a game plan. Learn to do without things, because you're going to have to do without if you're going to want to be self-sustaining, to save money, and to help support yourself. Uh, you're not going to be able to shop at the mall all the time or go to the high-end stores and stuff. There's just so many changes that are going to be coming your way that you need to look at. Um, have backup plans, backup for your water if you're on a well and the power goes out. Do you have a backup electricity plan? Do you have a generator? Do you have a uh, chainsaw if the trees come down and, and, and tear something up, hit one of your buildings or something? Um, we got snowed in 
two, three winters ago, and we were the power for 82 hours, I think it was. But we did fine. We had all backup heat, backup electricity. You know, we had all that stuff covered in advance. Um, back up food, back up feed for your animals. Winter's coming, do you have enough stocked up in case you should get snowed in if you're in a snow area? If you're down south in a flood area, just like right now, do you have backup plans to take care of these emergencies down there? More things to think about. So you thought about a lot of this stuff and you're ready to start. Go slow. Please, please, please go slow, go small. Don't overdo it right off the bat. You'll kill yourselves, you'll destroy what you're trying to do. Don't create a new rat race. You're leaving one. Don't get so wrapped up with so much going on that you haven't created a new one. Just different things in there. Uh, when you first get a place, one of the things I highly suggest you do right off the bat is plant fruit trees. This is our fifth year here and our fruit trees that we planted when we got this place, this is the first year they have produced. So. Get, if you want fruit trees, get them in the ground right off the bat. Start composting right off the bat. Learn about composting. I mean, you got to make your soil good to help grow your food and to get the right foods and stuff. So get on those things, two things. They're very, very important. Fencing. Oh, my God. I didn't know how much fencing we were going to have to do. I figured that when we first got this, you know, oh, yeah, we're going to have some chickens and raised beds and big gardens. Well, the chickens want to get in and tear everything up. Raise, it doesn't matter what it is. So we have had to quit fencing around darn near practically everything around here to keep the chickens out or to keep rabbits out or to keep deer out, um, keep animals contained, keep hogs contained, keep goats in. Fencing becomes a big never-ending problem and an expensive one. To get the things you need, you say, oh my gosh, all the stuff you just said is going to cost us a fortune. Shop around. Go to yard sales. Buy used. Go to auctions. Uh, auctions are a great place to pick up things. Barter with people. Trade, I'll trade you this for that. Or I'll trade you this service for that service or that item. Uh, heck, I've got a killer DeWalt miter saw out there. I picked up a brand new almost for $35 in an auction. I've got tables, I've got a lot of stuff that we have bought and we don't buy, very rarely do we buy anything new. I mean, the lathe I have out there, we bought it new and the planer. But everything else, we buy used. Um, social media groups on Facebook. Uh, we've got them, I'm sure every group or every county around has them where they have online yard sales. We created a, a group for people who want to trade things or have things for free on Facebook. Uh, if somebody wants something for free or have something they want to get rid of, uh, they can post it on there. If they want to trade a service or trade an item for something, they do that. Look for your uh, end of season sales at the stores. Uh, our little greenhouse that we got for our seedlings over there. It's not a big greenhouse, but it's what we start them in, and we got it at the end of the season and picked it up for a fraction of what they were charging for it during the spring. Uh, learn to be MacGyver. Uh, you're going to need that skill more than any skill out here. Oh, I've got to fix this all of a sudden. I've got to take care of this. What can I fake? What can I make it out of? Um, look for used stuff. Make stuff yourself. Repurpose everything. Uh, we have people that are going to throw things away and we tell them not to. You know, we want first crack at scrap wood, roofing, I don't care what it is. We find a, if we think we're going to find a use for it down the road, we want the stuff. There's just a million things, that's just touching on the surface of it. Um, really seriously think all of this through. I encourage you to do it. I encourage everybody to homestead. Um, again, I said it in the last video, it's a shame that it has to be called homesteading. It's just how people used to live. Um, but more and more people are wanting to live this way anymore. You can't change the world, but you can change your own world. And you know, if enough people, if we got together changing our own worlds, in the end that is changing the world. Uh, we all need to get back to the way life should be, and this is a good way to do it. It's hard work, it's a lot of sweat and tears and pain and money, 
but the rewards are well worth it. So we highly encourage anybody considering it to do it. Just carefully think through it, uh, make a good game plan, ask questions, learn, learn, learn. If you have questions for us, you can email us. Our email address is down in the bottom description area down there. You can leave comments. Uh, we hope we can help one person, one family. That's our goal. Uh, we feel like we've succeeded in something. If we can do that, we're going to add a bunch more videos. We're going to go into detail about tools, about medical, about food, about canning, anything we can to help people out. So this is Jay at uh, Our Harvest Moon Homestead. Again, everybody down south, I hope, I hope you've uh, been able to get out. I hope you're all safe and healthy. Y'all have a good day, and we'll talk to you later.